I beg of thee, spare my son. Take me instead. He's got a bright future in front of him. Hello, my lovely more thoughts. Welcome to another Ultimate Decades Challenge episode. Today, we are in regular decades and the year it says 1789 but we're taking um a trip into the future if you will because we are going to be going to our simsonian museum that is in modern day um and i like to put all our updated portraits of all our sims from the past in here and if you've been with me for a while i've been doing this from like almost the beginning i kind of think i set this up after like edward and Catherine probably passed i think it was like a i forget which gen i started it on but it's, we've been doing this for a while now um so here's the first gen i always have them on a little pillar because they are the first ones and you guys have probably seen this time and time again it's been updated here and there to look this way um this is the red room um and we have a lot of sims a lot of sims from like i think 1500s to 1600s in here and then from the 1600s on to the 1700s are like all in here as well so that is that time period and like i'm not gonna lie i kind of like how you can see the progression of fashion a little bit especially from like here and like this all the way to like like here like you can kind of see how things are progressing as well and I, I i like that it looks really it's pretty sick historically um speaking that we're kind of keeping somewhat of the illusion of passing of time and fashion um but yeah and then here we have towards like the end of the 1700s obviously our family's grown so we like we're taking up more rooms um but it's time to update this so the last one we did was actually 1777 with enrique and Fleur iglesias so i need to do i need to add to the 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 walls a song wa and ji Wu from the zhang family they married in 1780 so what i like to do is always um look up the years and then should most likely prop, prop up these uh portraits okay so 1780 here they are it's kind of small i don't like that they're so but then they're really big it's fine okay so here's one are they still alive oh yeah they live in the palace with their like um golden child literally because like, that kid is gonna live like a full life forever because someone granted that in the chat on twitch so that still holds up um even though we're not streaming this right now and currently but that still holds up then next we had 1783 these i just finished doing by the way like i literally was doing this off screen and i just got done and i was like let me record this and do this because i have not updated the simsonian in like a while um okay this is kind of gonna be annoying because this one's on the ground which i like the difference i don't think i've done a ground portrait since since oh my god i haven't done a ground portrait since 1721 it is now the year 1783 so a lot of time has passed between these two and like i like to have different types of um frames i guess you can say different types of frames uh and yeah i was like let me do the ground one but it kind of throws the the vibe off a little bit but it's fine it's good 1784 francisco and alex dubois get married okay Oh my god, look at Francisco in his like army uniform. He's looking very proud. There's Alex um Dubois as well in her green attire for her family color. Also, let me just they're so cute. I put the baby too. Look at the infant. The toddlers are there, and even Maisie's there with her son. That is adorable. Then 1788, there's Lorenzo. Okay, 17. 88 lorenzo manuel and noemi sanchez oh their portrait is kind of small i'm gonna put them over here up in the top right corner he's like sitting and she's standing and they're just like next to each other i wanted a more zoomed in cropped in picture so there's that one and then last but not least i believe it's just gian and soyan so it's this one they got married in the same year okay and there is this one by the way fyi me looking back on this it might not look like much because it's really tiny i upload the 
the like raw like the photoshopped edited like portraits up on the discord so you can see the full like size file but that might not look like much but this one actually took me the longest i couldn't get this like i wanted this papyrus watercolor like feel and flow to it and like i did not for the life of me get it to work finally i like ended up happy with this and i really like the way it came out i think it looks bet that one looks better than like i think maybe this no that one still looks good though anyways that is our families and we're good to go it the walls the wall has been updated we moved on to this one okay that's all i wanted to do i know it's a little boring but let's get on to gameplay day we're doing gameplay today which i feel like i haven't done in a while for 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 uh, regular decades and it's the year 1789 which begs the question what are we going to do about the revolution I think what I'm going to end up doing just to make this very dramatic, even though statistically speaking, this might be a little too high. It might have not worked out like originally this way with the French Revolution, yada, yada. I'm putting out all those disclaimers because what I'm going to end up doing is actually getting all of my rich Sims and just like basically sending them jail because we have such a small pool of Sims. I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can make this a little dramatic, you know? And then once I have all my Sims locked up in jail, my French Sims, by the way, because the French Revolution starts um, in 1789, I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I think is just lock up all my rich Sims and their, the kids as well. Um, the kids, and honestly, I think most of the Sims that were living in France got out right, right on time because literally all that's left and i'm glad i'm actually doing it this way are the iglesias and the chalamets and that's it and i think this might be the end of the chalamets I'm, I'm not even joking this might be to be fair they're like a new last name i don't think they're a legacy name so yeah the, the chalamets are a pretty new name they have a long lineage yes but i haven't had like a, a legacy last name for a while now on this like side of the the family tree i think yeah to be fair it's hard to have like legacy last names on like side households like they don't really stick around for very long and most of the times they have like new last names anyways but they i guess when it comes to whoops the family tree which i accidentally closed um when it comes to the family tree and they're like blue branch they have been a long-standing like french household for a while now now that i think about it yeah the Chalamets and the Iglesias have remained in France since the Smiths moved over here with fortune and became the Rousseaus. Um, because eventually this branch became like an English household, British household. So that's very interesting that we're probably might see the end of that like long French lineage we've had. Hmm, kind of interesting. Um, another thing that I'm gonna do is get my Sims out of here. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I am taking my kids and we are getting the heck out of France. We're like, uh-uh, things are getting kind of crazy here. We're taking our poodles and we're leaving. Um, yeah, I don't need y'all money. Uh, <laughs> so Marie Antoinette and then her husband, Louis, I'm pretty sure these are all the like, no, 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 they're not. These are supposed to represent all the kids she ended up having, I think, in her life that like, yeah. Um... Yeah, we're booking it out of France. We're going to New Spain. I know it says New Mexico, but I've been meaning to change that for the longest. Huh. They just show up as rentals, which is weird because I have the mod where it turns them into houses. Okay, I spent the last way too many minutes <laughs> fixing the outside of this house. And I actually really, 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 really like the way that it came out. It's called the Spanish Colonial Enclave on the gallery. I downloaded this from the gallery. Obviously, I've gone ahead and edited it. The original one is really gorgeous and really pretty, but it's not going to work for... It just didn't work how I wanted it to work for me. Um, the inside, I haven't really edited yet. Uh, I need to obviously remove a lot of the things that just don't work for this time period and like give it a makeover. But this is where my family will end up residing. I just wanted to show it to you guys just really quick. So I gotta go move them in now. We're leaving. We're getting the heck out of France. We're 
Okie day. Okie doke. We are moved in and we're settling in. Now we're uh, neighbors with the Vian Villarreal, which honestly I haven't given them all a makeover, but they live here. Um, they're like actual townies in The Sims game. And then we have the Villanueva. So New Spain is starting to get a little full. I kind of wonder if we could have something in the future here with my side of the family and then the Villanuevas. That would be kind of sick. They have a lot of kids. So hopefully all of them get married, honestly, so we can just populate New Spain and then maybe Spain as well. We can like have some go over there. Oh, yeah, because they like speak the same language. So it'd be kind of like ideal because this world is kind of like not that populated but we'll see in due time anyways now with all that being said i need a jail i need like some kind of thing to come to put all my sims in like a dungeon of some sort um and where are we gonna house everyone till they await some kind of execution i feel like okay obviously this doesn't happen this way but it's the sims and it's a game so we're gonna have to make do with what we got right so i'm thinking maybe i lock them all away in some kind of like a a, a prison of some sort some like dingy dark dungeon kind of thing structure okay hear me out put that somewhere in like a a lot that's not being used probably like this one i don't feel like i don't want to demolish the dubois chateau yet i'm like ugh, i get sad just thinking about demolishing it um so i think it might be end up being this one honestly and then we can execute them all at the on the actual like palace of versailles which probably not how it happened but I think it'd be a cool like town square kind of like meetup where we do everything outside and that's where the guillotine will be and then whoever ends up rolling to die they die there i'm not gonna kill the kids off that way mostly because one that's pretty dark okay i went ahead and downloaded this medieval prison um i had to go ahead and download it from like download the files and then put it in my game it's not on the gallery but it's by mickey mickey murr if I said that right, but it is stunning. Look at this. It looks looks really good. Like every jail cell is looking nasty for real. Like I would not want to be locked up here. It looks like I would probably die which yeah leads me to my other point i think i got cut off yeah because my cat's food went off and i was trying to get the dog not to eat it but anyways um this will be the jail this is where they'll go i'm not gonna kill off the kids using the guillotine mostly because i can also because it's kind of dark um and i don't want to see that so if the kids do end up dying and they end up rolling a death roll it's because they died of the like the their environment due to their environment these things weren't always like kept well you know disease all that most likely killed off like a lot of people as well um which i think is how marie one of marie antoinette's kids died i believe anyways that being said this will house all of our sims that are going all our rich sims that are going in here so i gotta put them all in here this is where they're going now i'm gonna flip a coin i think every year until the end of the, the french revolution i'm just gonna elongate it like that but they will be stuck in there for the duration until like they're either free or they die so kind of bleak but let's put them in here let's get the french revolution started Okay, but also I just forgot to mention that I put the prison in England. So we're just going to have to make believe it's in the same dang country because I don't have any more space. Like moments like this, I really wish I could copy a world and paste it. And I think there is like a mod to do that, but I don't know. I don't like messing with the whole in-game stuff. I feel like it's going to corrupt something. And like, I don't want to lose this, you know, it's my decades. But uh, yeah, we're just going to put it there for now. And then yeah, the guillotine, the slicing of the, the, the choppings of the heads will be over here. So anyways, let's let's move everyone out. So here are our only three residents. Obviously the King of France, Marie internet they meet their fate i think they die both from the guillotine i'm almost certain so they will be dying obviously um but they have a set date for that these sims though i have to uh pair up now when it comes to the 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 commoners the peasants whatever you want to call them um i believe there were some people that also died i don't know what the percentage of that one is and i'm not trying to kill off the peasants because 
it ain't really about them but we're still gonna roll for them as well their chances will be a little uh, smaller so don't expect too much death with the like with the the poor the poor french people um but we'll see all right i have all my little prisoners this is the chalamet and the iglesias household and i brought them together which i just realized they're sisters how sucky is that that this household came from the same family started their own brought back together under these circumstances not ideal i'm not gonna lie definitely not um but i gave them makeovers so basically what i've done is just change their everyday outfit which i'll probably keep them mostly in their everyday outfit for the sake of this little this little thing that we got going and then i'm gonna keep oh no i changed oh no did it change all their out their the hairs oh, okay didn't good um i kept their their old outfits just in case they live i don't want to go through the whole process of like changing it back to what it was but uh yeah i've gone ahead and dirtied up their look took off the wigs gave them their i guess regular hair took off the shoes any of the accessories any jewelry anything hats related any like fancy pantsy stuff oh i think i forgot to give the dad not a wig hold on because this is technically a wig um let's give him something else okay that looks better uh so yeah uh gave them dirt so they have dirty feet dirty face it's like a, a, a skin detail which i forgot to give to this gel too um it messes with the eyelashes that's why you see that but honestly i'm just gonna leave it it doesn't matter it's fine so yeah everyone is finished and let's go back Let's, let's take them to the to the jail to the prison all right i have it's taken me quite a while <laughs> i finally did it i finally loaded in all my sims so this is gonna be like storming the bastille it's not quite storming the bastille it's more like storming versailles but again we're just gonna go with it <laughs> so i have all my sims here all are like more peasant sims you know they're all here even have some deco sims they're ready for the guillotine they're like let's do it let's let's hit it let's drop it there you go let the guillotine drop um but i think there were some casualties um throughout this whole revolution so i think it's only fair that we roll for our peasant sims as well and this is the only time that i'll roll for the peasant sims so i think i'm gonna get this one out of the way and if they die i think it'll be due to like injury gunshot so and so yada yada so if they die it's because of that um and i think i'm roll for everyone even little tiny eleanor renard so there's a lot of turmoil right now going on in france but the good news is that i'm not rolling a big roll for this i'm gonna roll a d10 and i think there is one there's like nine sims so our odd the odds are kind of in our favor that like this sim the sims won't die i don't think they will so i'm gonna go ahead and choose a number now i think i'm gonna choose the number i think i'm gonna choose number three for this got my roller queued up and i'm gonna go down the line just in random order first sim that i see here i think is one of the lemon annalise lemon now she doesn't marry so this is kind of like it, it's fine it is what it is if she dies no offense girl no hard feelings but yeah uh rolling now anyways with all further ado that is a nine she's fine she's a-okay i gonna speed this along so we're not in here for a long time i see i think that's the twin brother Ooh, let's see what happens to him oh oh my god wait he rolled a three he rolled the th he's the one getting married oh <gasps> And we have like a batch choosing for him in the Discord. I forgot who he was going. Oh, that's that's a down. That suck. That sucks really bad. Oh no! So he's gonna die. And then let's roll for um. I forget his name. Wait, this is the wrong lemon. Okay, he shouldn't be here. I'm not rolling for him. This one was meant for the the actual lemon dad who lives in France. He lives in Boston. I just realized he's a gray lemon, so that's not good. Um, okay, and then since he's safe, we're gonna move on to the next one. Just had to like correct myself. Um, and that this one goes for the other French lemon mom. So rolling again. We've got another nine. And I think over there I see the Baptiste son who lost their parents. <gasps> where are the french why are all the french what the heck the peasants who are like supposed to like marry are dying 
Oh, that's not good. This is not good, guys. This is so not good. All right, I'm gonna roll really quick for, um, I think that's little, that's Virginia the second. I forget what, I think that's Eleanor. Eleanor Renard rolled a six, so she's fine. Here's the dad and he's rolled a 10. And then Virginia the second, it rolls an eight. So our two boys die. So that is official. The end of, officially the end of the Baptiste. Um, what's it called? The Baptiste line ends here. And then the Lemon household officially, not, okay, one of the Lemons dies off. They're still the, the Boston Lemons, I believe. Yeah, so, but that's crazy. I'm gonna have them get shot. So trigger warning for that. I'm gonna have a soldier come out somewhere. I don't know. And we're just gonna shoot him. And that's how they'll both go out. Okay, I couldn't tell if I had this paused or not, but just to make sure I'll edit it out if I already said this, but I'll spread out the French Revolution um, role, the, the noble French Revolution rolls. I will roll, I'll actually flip a coin. I'm not gonna roll, I'm gonna flip a coin. And then, cause there's only seven total Sims. So half of them will die. So I'm expecting about like four Sims to die and three to survive. And I'll do that like every, like a gap, I'll leave a gap of two Sim days in between each like flip a coin. And then we'll go kill them off via guillotine or in the, or if they're children, they'll just die in the jail cells. So that, I think we're up to date. Everything's, everything's technically up to date. So I'm gonna go ahead and bury these Sims now. And then we can go start, oh, who called the cops? I hate you guys. Um, The modern cops. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and bury these Sims. I don't have, I don't know where the urn spawned to, but I think I still have the spawning mod. <gasps> no, I don't. Well, that's annoying. I need the spawning, I need the urn spawning mod. Dang it, why did I take it out? And then super duper quick, just so I can get this out of the way. Um, Jean-Luc, one of the Sims who died, who was supposed to marry. Uh, the winner for Jean-Luc ended up being, actually ended up being Mar Mar Mirabelle Love. Uh, that is who ended up winning. She had the most votes with 72 in the Discord. So thank you guys for voting. Thank you guys for your entries as well. She will not be going into the save. She will forever roam this save file without a lover honestly we have a lot of those sims in here <laughs> of sims who we're supposed to marry but then their their partner ends up dying and then just just roll in the save file forever so that's what she's gonna do um and then for Vir well, not for virginia but for v alan baptiste here's another one winner with 88 votes is tabitha atwood so she was our other winner she's really gorgeous she's really pretty um thank you guys for voting she had 88 votes she will not be marrying our sims let me get all of them out of here all the other sims might show up in different batch choosings in the future she will forever roam this save file with looking for her lost love that she'll never get to meet kind of tragic honestly okay then really quick for virginia let's check out the winners now since we're just doing this already let's just let's just name the winners the winner for virginia uh the second is with 129 votes is sim number three seo well we're just gonna even know sim number three he's really cute i like him and then for jerome lemon the sim with the highest amount of votes was sim number four. She's not sim number four, by the way. Um, with 111 votes, Becca Clark. I think she spawned from like Becca, actual Becca, which I'll challenge, I'll change her name. But that is the winner. She's the winner. Let's see, just delete us all the rest. All right, it's been a while since my last clip, but we're gonna continue on. Would you like to sign up for another term? Yes, I can see we got an A plus. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is our final semester. Um, I usually, I think I've mentioned this already so many times, but I have a mod that helps with uh, with graduating kind of like quote unquote early for your Sims, but it's just to help match up with the timeline of how time works in our in our decades challenge. So, anyways, we are signing up for three classes, and I think I should take two electives. Something that will help us out, like painting or something or writing or something with charisma. 
All right, let's do writing. I think that's important to do. So let's head with, let's do that. Okay, and then everyone else is signing up for their own classes. I don't care about the roommates really. Um, okay, I just realized something. There's like fireworks outside happening um, over the stadium. It's like six in the morning. Okay, I think they stopped. But I was like, wait, can we now celebrate 4th of July? Like when did we start doing that? So I'm gonna look that up really quick, hold on. Okay, so apparently from Google, it says that 4th of July has been a federal holiday in the United States since 1941. But the tradition of Independence Day celebration goes back to the 18th century, which is currently where we are, and the American Revolution. So I'm guessing it's something that people might have like partook in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add it now and like just we're, we're going to start doing the 4th of July celebration. It is what it is. This is from National. No, this is from the History Channel, by the way, the info I got. This is still spring. This is now summer. We're currently in... Oh, we're currently in summer. Oh, that means we probably like missed 4th of July. Okay, I'm adding the holiday. I'll make sure to add this to the rules too. I gotta make like a mental note for myself that 4th of July... 4th of July holiday has to go like up for you guys too. All right, it's there. It's ready to go. All I did was fireworks, like maybe a little bonfire, drinking, party spirit, nothing too crazy. Um, Let's get this term started. So I'm just gonna do the usual and I'm gonna start. We gotta do homework. We gotta do, it's boring but we gotta do homework guys so gonna have him do that get her done fall harvest season starts tomorrow good thing we're not planting anymore but it, it's good to know at least when the seasons start to change it's kind of like a nice heads up i will say all right 11 currently mel no melvin i almost called him malcolm melvin is sitting next to us and i feel like word is starting to get around maybe all the although cambridge and boston seem kind of far but word's getting around that um at least within the family that elu might be expecting a child and like we're definitely suspicious of melvin so i do think that lucian should probably confront him lucian should probably like what's up bro like what's up what's happening what are we doing here like what's going on with the, with you? And they have a really good relationship, which is gonna be interesting. Okay, really quick. We're done with our homework, so that's good. It's already like two o'clock, but we're done with all of that. I want to write a romantic letter to Sophie and Audra just because we haven't really seen them in quite a while, actually. Um, It is Friday and then we don't have class this whole weekend, Avi. So maybe we can stop by and like head towards Boston and then hang out with the two girls because we like we really haven't seen them in a while and distance really does put a test on the relationship and we really got to figure out who it is that we're gonna choose um we still got time don't get me wrong but like is it gonna be audra is it gonna be sophie we're down to the last two contestants for the girlies um so yeah time is ticking for the are we 12th gen or 11th gen I feel like we're 12th gen by now, right? God damn, this is starting to look big. Look at this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We gotta pick our 12th gen mom. Who's gonna be the air mom? It's between Audra and Sophie. Which reminder, Audra is paranoid and a coward. Um, and Sophie is a is jealous has a jealous trait and she's a party animal um and so those are the two traits right now who does he like best i don't know but i do think we've had we've definitely come down to like the wire on and we've picked the the last two girls that i think he likes probably the most all right let me hit this little platter really quick um melvin was like getting it on in the kitchen like not like getting it on but you know what i mean <laughs> uh he's putting in work managed to get a little bit of the presentation done before we head out i wanted to tackle a lot of like the projects this term first head on especially because we're like about to head home but let's go ahead and ride towards boston um i'm thinking one of the other where i don't know where do we lost a horse i swear i had a horse oh horsey did i leave it like parked somewhere 
but I don't know, but I lost the horse. Great. Um, yeah, we're gonna take one of these guys' horses. All right, let's go. Hop on, brother. Still not shaving the, the beard, by the way, not until he graduates. All right, we're going home. We're heading out of here. Bye. <laughs> we're home and look who's here to greet us. No, 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 get, get off the horse, bro. <laughs> get off. Park the horse, yes. Put it in your pocket if you have to. I think he is about to, actually. Yes, and look who's here to greet us. Elu's here and sort of showing, maybe. I don't know, I can't tell. Brother's here. Brother it needs to come actually to school with us. I might probably end up grabbing, I forgot about Thiago, but he needs to go to school too. He's a bit behind, but he'll catch up. Um, And then mother's here. Oh my goodness. Let's say hello again. Oh, feeling a little pukey there, Elu. Like, what's happening? What's wrong? Oh, they're hugging, but I can't see because the tree. Hugging brother. Yes, very nice. And then, are we not going to say hello to Elu? He's like, I know too much. Um, But we should probably, like, have a conversation or something. Um, There's all oh, the new dude. Crumpet is here. Oh, and then we can't say... We can't not say hello to Eloise. Eloise is, like, queen. She's probably, like, wondering, like, what Melvin is up to. Oh, my God. But then... Ooh, I for completely forgot that Elu and Melvin and then ooh, I don't know. Anyways, that dynamic. That's like a triangle on its own. He's like, I hope you're still not hung up on Melvin. Hey, Eloise. Let's make a joke. Let's make a joke. She's like, that loser, I'm totally over him. I got my eyes set on somebody new. Plus, I heard that um Elu was actually involved with him and not in a good way. Oh, and they're joking around. That's so cute. Um, let's knock on the door because I just realized we technically don't live here. Okay, not technically. We definitely don't live here, but knock, knock. Familia. Okay, finally, we can go inside. Um, actually, really quick before I get started, I just realized we had this thing and we haven't really been using it, but I found this. I feel like this is one of the plumbabas. Yeah, this is like one of the easiest things to find or like the elements to find, but I found it. So, um, let's go chat in like like the sitting room, I guess. It looks really pretty right now in here. Like really, really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, over tea. Come on, Elu. Let's go talk. Let's see what's happening. Um, since I'm now almost the man of the household. Oh, I had a, I had a tea. They always steal my tea sets. I swear. The amount of times I've bought a tea set, I should have like a free one by now. Like buy one, get one free. Like at this point, I should have so many free ones. Not the horse inside. Oh, you guys are menaces. I hate you. Oh, Crumpet came in. He's like, let me pour you some tea and we'll chat this over. Cause like, I have a lot of things to say. He's like, so I've heard you are in quite the predicament. Um, your father has filled me in and so has Thiago. I've gotten letters. I've received letters. Melvin, I've been like seeing a lot of him. She's like, oh, Crumpet, you're so sweet. She's like, yeah, I have a lot of mornings. She's like, he's like, drink some tea. I'm like going through this really fast, but he's like, drink some tea. It'll make me, maybe make you feel a little better. Um, um, so are you sure it's probably what he's probably gonna say um, that you don't want to sort this out with Melvin It's like Eloise you can't be here for this conversation you're too like involved Eloise I need you to head upstairs she like wants to know the business though she still wants to know the tea though I think I think she's glad she dodged a bullet but at the same time go scrub your floors or something he's like are you sure you cannot work things out with um, Melvin it would just be the best for your baby your reputation like who will have you now basically type of like discussion and it's but i totally believe that's something he would say hands down um everyone just wants in on this conversation and she's like no i don't want to include him in this he told me no he rejected our baby plain and simple plain and clear he doesn't want anything to do about it with it he's all like well if I can't convince you or Melvin, then you have the full family support. Definitely take on the Lightwood name if you'd like. He's like, God forbid anything bad happens to me or Thiago. He's like, I love you, Elu. And you're a big part of this family. We've grown up together. I believe they have. And your son could take over the family name. If anything were to happen to us, he'd be the third in line. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, that really means the world to me. Uh, so much so that I have to get up and walk this excitement off. <laughs> 
she's actually gonna go play. Um, I'm gonna have her sit again and like, oh, maybe we can like express some gratitude. She's like, that really means the world to me. You are, this is why you're my favorite. Don't tell Tiago. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. Thank you so much. She's like, you wanna meet your future um cousin? Oh, she's like, I super duper appreciate this. All right, I'm gonna have Elu go home, head home. Say hello to Micah for me. I really miss him so much. Um, Say hello to him. Let's see what else? Oh, the girlies are out here stitching. Okay, Um, it's really dirty. I don't know what happened to the butlers and maids, but ever since I like left, I haven't been able to like keep track of that. Uh, Someone's going to bed. Yes, good job. I'm gonna send everyone off to bed. Hey, Louise, let's head off to bed. Where's mom? Where's the mom? It's like downstairs. She's writing. She's been writing a lot lately. Good for her. Look at her. She's so cute. She's like the diaries of a Boston Rose. She should honestly write that. That'd be pretty sick. Um, I'm gonna have the put her put that away and then head to bed as well. I will see you on day two. Okay. Okay, guys, I have been recording this whole time, but there was issues with my mic. And if you've seen my streams before, then you know that that happens frequently. So I'm just going to go ahead and like just dub over what has happened so far and then catch you guys up on that. So like, here's voiceover me just recapping the last like 20 minutes of recording. Um, Yeah. All right. So for day two, it is... Lucian the second's birthday. He's going to be a young adult. I am trying to prep him a very grand and lavish um, dance party get together in our little family ballroom. I invite everyone, people start showing up and basically, long story short, I use the tool mod, which someone suggested in the comments to bring everyone into the ballroom to like spawn them in there instead of using the teleporter mod. And honestly, it works really, really well definitely suggest it all right now i'm gonna skip over all of that once i get everyone inside the ballroom it's taken about like two hours in the sims and it's time to start this party everyone's here look at everyone there's look so good and cute and it's like it's such a vibe everyone's drinking people are flirting some people are dancing Sophie is here and so is Audra, but I realized that I can't flirt in the same room with both of the girls here. So I do end up kicking out Sophie because I want to spend time with Audra first, um, just to get that one out of the way. So I kick out Sophie because um, obviously she's not going to like that they're flirting. Obviously, once we pick a girl, we're going to be a one woman show. But for now, obviously, we're recording both just so we can like finally decide me and you guys, the, the viewers as well. Um, so we spend a little quality time with Audra and we actually end up sharing our first kiss, which by the way, I didn't have them do that. They actually did that on their own in public. Scandalous. And they have such a romantic time. They end up dancing. Of course, Audra's father is around, which is, he's kind of sus. I don't like him, which you'll see in a little bit what ends up happening with that. Um, the Maggie's also here, and she's also sus. She's just a creep in the background sometimes. Um, Eloise, of course, is flirting with her new guy. He's really, really cute, and I think they're a very, very adorable couple. They're very sweet. Then Elu and the lemon, I forget her name, the redhead, the one with the really curly hair. They just seem to be hitting it off. Redhead on redhead, like, friendship happening here. Audra asks us to move in. No, Audra asks us to move in with us, but I don't think it's the right time, so I tell her no. It just isn't. I think she wants to get away from her father desperately, which makes sense. And her father's probably trying to keep her around as long as possible and, like not have her marry a lightwood because they're enemies but she definitely wants to leave it in shows elu then the drama begins because elu starts fighting with melvin obviously there's like sour taste in her mouth there you know anyways now back in like live mode with a regular me playing the game um what was i gonna do oh yes yes we were talking to melvin and we gave him a piece of our minds we're giving him a piece of my mind our minds oh and he's fighting back which obviously doesn't surprise me 
Now, I do think Micah is now involved. Everyone knows now. Obviously, Micah's been involved. I love Micah. Oh, my God. He's so cute. But let's go ahead and have him come over here and give Melvin a piece of his mind. Very rude introduction. He's never met this young lad. Have fallen out of touch and have no longer best friends. That makes sense. Very rude introduction needs to be made currently. I think Melvin's dad is here. Ooh, what if Alonzo and Melvin get into a fight too? <gasps> to, you know, protect his son. Oh, okay. This next part I'm so sorry about, guys. But I lost some very important footage. Uh, basically, Micah and Melvin's father get into a skerfuffle, if you will. They fight. And Micah wins, so that's good. But... The next important part is mostly the party winding down and it's time for us to roll for Lucian II's roll. And he rolls a bad roll, actually. So he's dying. Grim is here. And the next clip you'll see is Daniela now playing with Grim. So you're caught up. However, you didn't get to see any of that excitement, honestly. I was blown away when that happened. But anyways... You're watching a dark screen. Let's just move on with everything. You get it. No, he's got the scythe out. No! Okay, okay. Whew. We managed to get it in in time. Okay, he's, she's coming over. Please, I beg of thee. Spare my son. Take me instead. He's got a bright future in front of him. You don't understand. You don't understand death. He is our heir. He is the heir. <gasps> did, she, did he allow it? I think he allowed it. Oh my God. Lucian the second has been brought back to life. Daniela's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. Wow, the cry of a mother. Okay, well, this is looking bright. For those who wanted Lucian the second to be heir, things are looking bright for you. If you wanted Tiago to be heir, like me, things are not looking so bright. <laughs> However, I do think we are gonna give um, Lucian probably some kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it, but like, because he was brought back to life, I think he should get something, a scar of some sort, a, how are you sick? You just got brought back to life. He wants to, he's wanting to dance already. He's like, oh, I just, I feel good after that. Um, But something like we got to give him a limp now. I don't know, something along those lines. But it's already morning. It's six in the morning. My boy needs a rest. I thought it through a little bit more. And I like the idea of making him evil because he is loyal. So I don't find that he'd be like a non-committal sim. I mean, I guess that could change with him coming back, but I kind of been there, done that. He's already mean, but I thought that it was just maybe like his, um, just the way that maybe he socializes to get his way, you know? He just comes, he's just mean sometimes. But now that he's died and come back to life, I think I'm going to give him the evil trait. And that way we can justify like maybe a huge personality shift because he was never really evil he was a little mean yes but he wasn't evil and now i think that this opens up the door for a, a bit of a shift uh if you will so going forward that, that's gonna be his new young adult trait and i'm kind of interested and intrigued to see where this goes so i'm gonna go ahead and yeah we're gonna we're gonna play out the rest of this year guys we're almost in 1790 so we're halfway done this is now we're on day three now so it was a very long night i'm gonna go ahead and have them just take care of their needs and stuff and then i'll see you when we go see sophie we gotta go talk to her and ask for her to like to court her i just came and stopped by the um marketplace in town really quick i think i'm gonna buy have lucian buy a nice little pearl earrings for sophie um and then we'll ask her to court us i think she expects something a little more lavish. she does come for money already so not that audra doesn't deserve it but because of that reasoning and then Lucian, I think he's really actually ready to get married. So I think we're going to shop for, he's going to shop for something a little bit more extravagant. Um, and I think we're going to get like a diamond ring, maybe. I don't know if dam diamond rings were really like big during this time. But like maybe some, definitely a ring though. Sapphire ring? 
is sapphire blue we can do a sapphire emerald or we could do a pearl necklace it is very timeless um but i believe she already has one maybe not i don't know i actually no she doesn't i don't believe she does sapphire rings can be passed down from generation to generation though let's just go with the let's see the future color actually what is the future co color it's gonna be purple mm, let's go with the blue then oh, no. yes one of your finest rings please traveling merchant <laughs> whom I do not know and strange, dressed very strangely. Now that we have our rings, so we can maybe invite some of the girls over, both of them, two for, two for, for one or yes. Both girlies are here. I think, oh, Sophie literally just like arrived and left. So because um Lucia is here first, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, she's just so smitten over him, um over Tiago. I am going to have her, oh my God, these people in the background. Y'all are ruining like the vibe so hard go away the other dude can stay he's dressed more appropriately it's like oh you've arrived you're here he's like i just wanted to let you know that i am totally from the moment i saw you head over heels and i wanted to ask you something will you marry me so obviously he's not doing the actual ring giving thing but we can just give it as a gift i believe it's under friendly interactions can you do this as a I wonder if you do as a romantic interaction though. I feel like you can give romantic gift. Yes. So here is the ring to go with that proposal. Oh, I hope she likes it. If she hates it, it's gonna be horrible. What do you think? She likes it. Oh, bless her heart. I'm glad. Ah, uh, just to get it over with, I'm gonna have her accept his proposal. Let's just let's just accept. Yes, I will definitely marry you. He's like, I'm leaving though very soon. I'm gonna be away at school, but I definitely plan to come back and marry you. Oh, Every day we're together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to a happily ever after. How cute. Sophie's in the house. Okay, we definitely have to riz her up. He's feeling very confident. We're gonna do a bold pickup line, which should set maybe the mood in the right direction. Now that he is evil, though, I wonder how the dynamics between Andra and him will change and also with Sophie. Sophie, I believe, is jealous and a party animal. So who knows? I'm going to have... Ugh, why do they always get the resentment stuff for the for the prom? It's so annoying. But we're going to ask to court. Let's see. Affection. Hold hands. But where is the... There it is, asked to court. He's like, I got one more semester of school left. I'll be home in a year. If you can wait that long, who knows where things might lead. Are they gonna try and woohoo? I think they're gonna try and woohoo. They're so annoying. Um, but they have begun courting. Let me not offer hand in marriage. Where is the guys? I don't know. What the heck is where is the gift giving? Has to be under friendly. I'm gonna go for the first kiss only because we had our first kiss with Audra as well, but I'm still trying to figure out how to gift her this. This is so annoying. Ooh, and he's a lot taller, so the animation is so weird. The girls will be aging up probably by the next time we see them. Oh, I finally found it. Okay, yay, we can finally give her the dang pearl earring. She already has some. She's like, oh, I already have a pair. You shouldn't have. Okay, maybe she didn't need them. <laughs> Sorry, he's like, I didn't notice um, you already wear pearl earrings. But here's a spare in case you lose those. Are they gonna woohoo? No woohoos. I said no. We can dance though. She can dance. There's no music playing, but we can dance. It's fine. So Tiago's currently doing homework. Good for him because we are starting school very soon. I think it starts for him on Monday. We have to get going because it's Sunday and we still have to make it back to university. So this was literally our last stop before we head out. Um, we still have to say goodbye to his mom and dad you guys won't see that because like you know been there done that but we gotta stop by the house very quick i gotta grab some of their stuff that they probably left behind and then we're headed back to university so this is the last time we'll see the girlies um so so far um it looks like he's really smitten with audra and sophie things are going very well um adoring lucian sentiments about sophia wants the best for sophie oh it's so it's sophie not sophia i've been saying sophia this whole time and thinks she is wonderful and honestly i don't feel like it's reciprocated back from sophie i'm not gonna lie 
I don't know. Maybe because they come from the same world, she's not as like enamored by him. Whereas Audra sees him as like his white knight, you know, that's coming to save her. Oh no, guilty. Lucian the second feels bad about something that happened with Audra and doesn't know how to make it right. What happened between the two of them? What does he feel guilty about? Maybe she, let's see, this doesn't really show on her end. I can't really tell or see, but that's interesting. All right, well, this is where we bid adieu and we'll, I'll see you guys in the next day on Monday and that will be our final day of 1789. Yay. Oh no. God, there's so much in this episode. Um, we're, it's Sunday evening. I was just going to finish out the day, maybe write some term papers or try and start it. And Elu is going into labor with Melvin's illegitimate child. So I think we should go take care of that. Let's go see Elu the second. Ugh, I don't come here enough, but I love the way that this looks. Look at the road. By the way, that's like dirt, I think. Yeah, because like you can plant seeds on, you, you can purchase seeds and plant them, I think. Um, but they live in this town home. I live on this side. Uh, I think we're gonna make it so that let's see, I think Micah lives downstairs, and then we're gonna make this one the baby room. Yeah, because we this is where her Eloise's no Elu's old younger sister when she passed. I think it was her older sister. I'm not sure anymore. She used to live here, I believe. I feel like it's only complimentary bassinet. Let's go have baby over. Um, let's reset her. Hold on. Reset. Go have baby. I feel like dad should be here. Come on, dad. Come upstairs. You got this, Elu. Hopefully she doesn't die. That would also put a damper on like things on like the storyline. But she's having a boy. I think we kind of already knew she was having a boy because we knew he would end up inheriting and taking on the family name. And like we knew there would be another Lightwood boy um, in the family. So now this is another Lightwood like branch starting. We haven't had one spawn off in quite a while so it's kind of a big deal for me um i don't know what his name should be just because honestly i feel like it should be probably a because they could die but if he lives i think it should be a member of the family like a family generational name and i have a couple in mind i haven't played homage to edward in a while we do have an edward the second so this will technically be the edward the third i don't think we've had a william the second at all however jamie was a big part of people's lives maybe jamie the second would be kind of cute to do i can see that being maybe the path that we take so i i think i like it i'm gonna go with jamie the second and he could maybe take up the mantle eventually or at least his lineage can i'm following the way i'm doing it is i'm following my my the lightwood is now the staple name in this in my save file in my decades so i'm following whatever lightwood name there is and if there's a boy here he takes it over so in this case because eloise is um a girl she wouldn't inherit like the lightwood name it would technically go to her but like i said i don't want the name changing so at least that's my sentiments now currently and yeah i, I just don't want that so if lucian were to die Yago were to die i'm not having eloise inherit anything it would definitely be elu's son would inherit for me because he would have the lightwood last name even though he's an illegitimate although there is a rule that states that illegitimate children cannot inherit um but i don't know who's to say he is third in line but i guess we cross that bridge when we get there we still have two very healthy candidates as of right now because lucian's still live and kicking <laughs> all right let me mark him as being born on the timeline all right also we have to roll so again this can all very well just fall apart right now but he can't roll no, elu can't roll a one let's roll a one and see if she survives everything she rolled a 14 so she's currently fine she's a-okay good to go um and then we have baby baby can't roll at 5 10 or 15 the killing numbers here um and let's see baby rolls a eight an eight so baby doesn't die we're gonna roll the infant ones just because i don't want to come back i kind of don't want to age the baby up either i will roll for the baby but i'm kind of over aging them up anyways i'll just age them up twice next time i see them for our side households so here goes nothing we can't roll an eight and like i think a two 
That's a five. Had he rolled that in the previous one, he probably would have died. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what hair color he gets. Maybe just for the sake of this, we'll just age up the baby. Never mind. Change of plans. I am going to age up Jamie the second Lightwood just because I want to see what he's going to look like. Micah, your grandfather. Show yourself, child. Blonde? Cautious. Huh? Well, that's an anomaly. That one's very interesting. I guess he inherited mom's eyes, but where did the blonde come from? Melvin has black hair. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so there's Jamie the second. Just wanted to show him because um, I've already left Cass. He's on the tree, and I just need a picture of Melvin because that is his actual father. Um, but Elu, she needs to get married. She actually has like a future spouse incoming, and then they will try for one more baby because she rolled like a two. And I am taking Jamie Lightwood the second as like one of those tries attempts. So we're back at university. I'm gonna go ahead and play out the day i don't know maybe if something crazy happens i will fill you in but we'll see we'll see i'm just gonna play out the university day like always and day four has been very short what is happening why did the camera come over here oh i don't know okay sure whatever <laughs> day four was really really short um for this video uh, but in hindsight there was so much going on day one two and three so i think it's fine we just sent a love later to sophie and audra we did our we finished up our one of our term papers which is good still got to do a presentation and then one more term paper this one's not quite ready yet but we're doing pretty good we're doing really well. So here's hoping we're our final year is a good year. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this this video here on Monday, 10 o'clock, last day of 1789. It was a lot, it was a whirlwind for sure. Highs and lows. So I will see you on the next episode, which will be a spreadsheet day. We're gonna do spreadsheet day for 1790, which I'm actually really excited for because we gotta do like the family portrait as well. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work, but it should be good. All right. I'll see you then.